Have you ever wanted some raised garden beds but just thought they were way too expensive to build? Well, stay tuned, because I'll show you how to build them for about a quarter of the cost that they normally run. Hi, I'm Gary Swain, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Boho Hippie Homesteaders. Okay, today I'm going to do a mock-up of how we do the raised garden beds. A lot of the uh, shows, uh, plans show uh, using two by six cedar. Uh, that's pretty costly. I found I can use one by six uh, and support it, and it lasts uh, just as long and it's a lot, lot cheaper. Uh, this, for this purpose, we're going to do a mock up. Um, this is not cedar, but you would normally use cedar. You're going to sharpen it into a point to make it a stake. Uh, you want to use cedar because it will uh, not decompose and rot as quick as yellow pine or something like that. First you want to start with level ground. So try to level your garden out. I like to use these tan deck screws. They work real good. They have like a star tip on them. They don't strip out like regular Phillips do. Okay, so what you want to do is decide how far you're going to bury this in the ground to figure out what length you're going to do. I'm going to bury mine in the ground right about here, about a foot. So this is where I'm going to start my, my bottom board. You probably want to use a square here to make sure this is perpendicular to the stake. I have mine marked already. Just start stacking boards on top. stake part that's going in the ground and perpendicular to that is your sides. You go up three levels for however much you want to do. Uh, but if you'll figure out where how much you want in the ground and then measure up how many boards you want, you'll know where to cut this off at. And then we do our side pieces. see how it's forming uh, you just keep coming up the sides you go down to the end and what I like to do my beds are usually four foot by eight foot so on the four foot side I just have them on the two corners on the eight foot side I put another stake in the middle so on the long side I'll have a corner a middle and then another corner so three stakes on the side and two on the corners um, and I found that by putting that stake in the middle about four foot out on that eight foot side that keeps it from bowing. And then once you build the whole box, place it where you're gonna place it, start driving these in with a sledgehammer or whatever you've got. Uh, and you'll drive it down in the ground. And then once you have it in the ground, it's gonna look like these. So as you can see, uh, here's all my raised beds. I've got several of them. Uh, these are over two years old. Uh, and as you can see, they're still in really good shape. I got my corner uh, spy, uh, stakes, and then there's one here, and then of course you can't see there, but there's one on each corner, and then one in the middle again. Uh, in this case, my wife wanted to do square foot guarding, so she had me put nails every fo every foot along all sides, and run string between them, and that creates a square foot here. And then she can plant something in here, plant something here, and she uses a chart to tell her what's in this one and what's in this one. Like two rows down, two rows over is carrots, three rows down, four rows over might be cabbage. And that's how she can make a chart and know. And of course we use drip line. We're at the end again of it's hot been the hot summer, hundred and something degrees every day. This is the asparagus, it's still doing really well. Uh, the sunflowers have done done their thing and they're spent. Uh, 
so is the tomatoes. The tomatoes have just about burned up. We've had uh, about three months without any rain and 105 degree temperatures every day. Peppers seem to be loving it though. Uh, we got uh, little red peppers and uh, some bell peppers. Uh, we have another raised bed with uh, asparagus and columbine. Uh, and then you're going to see over here we have a surprise cantaloupe patch uh, that we did not plant. Uh, one of our neighbors was giving us her table scraps for our compost bin and uh, after we compost it we put the compost out and surprise there were some cantaloupe seeds in the compost. I hope you enjoyed that video. If so, please hit the subscribe button below. It doesn't cost you anything, nor will you be receiving any emails or spam or any ads from me. It's just how YouTube gauges my success. So please help an old man out so I can keep posting more helpful videos in the future. Thank you.